Here was Home Depot for all the thieves to find the tools they needed to thieve, all the sneaker maintenance men and mechanics and small-time burglars. And Bless and I, walking up and down its open, airy corridors, trying on fashionable work gloves with a matrix even Spider-Man would be envious of, and boosting battery-powered pen flashlights. Next to the depot was the messy Save Mart parking lot scene of pushers and Friday night dime draws off the habit chippers, payrollers off work for the weekend. Security guards just standing there watching, getting a sack for themselves. If the quota wasn't met or the law came and told you get lost, the rest would have to be made up recycling or thieving. Life of a hustler, spark plug pieces thrown at car windows to shatter without a sound. All the little tricks, devil in the details, dirt under the toenails and fingernails, gray morning squatters waking up and moving real slow like snails, rigs hanging out their arms. These were not often our kind, Pushers, users, those surfing the demand and supply waves of chemical seduction. But they were part of the fabric. An ecosystem is delicate, and even the urban, degraded kind. We needed all of them, Freddie explained. The dealers and users especially. For they kept the authorities preoccupied on the war on drugs while we sent our undercurrents through and got made. We were echoes through their halls and voices through their walls. They would feel a subtle push and pull and react in such predictable fashion, lockstep like slave labor or draft material at wartime, marching in masses to allow us to carry out our dark agenda. Well, they saw it as dark, but only so to contrast light. There is no light without darkness, mind you, were some of the very first words my friend spoke out on the rails through that hidden industrial town at the westernmost edge of the city. Neither is there shadow without a source of light. They referred to our people as deluxe. I asked Bless what it meant. She said it comes from Latin, meaning of the light. A calmness came over me when I heard, like the kind you get watching the sunrise or set.